welcome to MT Guitar. Wow, today we're doing quite the classic. Just so much fun to dig into this. A lot of fun for me the last couple of days putting this together. I hope you have fun doing it too. One of my favorite things about learning this song is that the most fun part to play is actually not that hard. And you could just go ahead and learn that and sort of move on not learning the whole song. Normally I'd recommend to learn the whole song, but this, if this is all you learn, you can kind of have that beautiful riff in your pocket. So you can have fun right away. We're gonna start, of course, with this riff. What I'll do is I'll post everything on the Patreon. It's about six pages or so from beginning to end of all the acoustic and electric parts. I'm not gonna teach the electric in this lesson. A lot of it is just mirroring. And then, you know, on the chorus, it's just power chords. You can pretty much learn all the acoustic parts and be in really good shape for the electric parts by making a few modifications. Of course, there's a couple other things that are written out as well, including, which is not that hard, especially when you see it written out. So why don't we talk about this song briefly and then we'll zoom in and learn it. So Jimmy Page, I mean, just such a masterful arranger, producer. He produced all the Led Zeppelin albums, which I just find truly amazing. And his guitar part writing is insane in a good way. This song really will challenge you to improve your hammer-ons and pull-offs. Okay. And to use the open strings to your advantage. It'll also really work your syncopation and rhythm because, for instance, when he goes... Those are all upbeats there when it goes... Not only upbeats, but it's double time, so they're actually 16th notes. So the whole song, you're kind of grooving these 16th notes. The very first notes on the in the whole song are actually triplet 16th notes. We don't see those a lot, especially in pop and rock. We see them in jazz and classical, but you know that's actually very fast. And the strumming is uh, pretty straightforward in some ways, but it's also you know quite difficult if you look at this part. You know that's one e and a two e and a. That's sixteenth. Of course, the challenge is switching your fingers in time. And then this is just straight double time strumming. So we're gonna go through that a bit slower here, zoomed in. Uh, we'll learn it all. And remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and the thumbs up. Do check out the Patreon as well, as I've mentioned. Other than that, hope we're doing well. Let's jump on in. All right. So I forgot to mention in the intro that. The 12 string completely mimics the acoustic. There is no deviation from the part. You know, you could play the same exact thing in a 12 string. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go through everything, kind of a quick pace, and I recommend, you know, just working this slow on your own, also rewinding it as many times as you need. Uh, I won't skip anything, but we do have to kind of get moving because this is an epic song with tons of different parts happening. And we have the intro. The intro is very identical to the verse. We just have one small thing to change in the verse. Uh, so let's get going on the intro and we'll pretty much be good for the verse. Even if you're not gonna learn this whole song, I recommend learning this part. Here we go. O two O third string hammer on pull off. Okay. Um, some would call that a trill. It, well, it's not really a trill because it's not repeating. That would be a trill, but it's like a slur. Okay, so. O two O hammer on pull off. Now, you could go to town on this and really make it clean by getting getting a click sound. I wouldn't worry about that now, but maybe down the road, you want to get your hammer ons and pull offs nice and strong. Now four O pull off, fourth string. That one's a little easier to get the click sound because it's your stronger finger here. Uh, so you want to have a strong four O pull off, and then third string. That's the riff. O, two, O, four, O, O. Then G chord, down, up, up, down. Okay. Next riff here, O, two, O again. Now four, fourth string, back to third string open. Now four, two, O, pull off, third string. Like that. And then fourth, uh, fourth string open. Then a D chord. Down, down, up, down, up. Okay? Then you just kind of repeat things. So let's do all that together. 
One, two, three. Okay, now we go same riff as before. And then G. So this is all repeating it. But now we stop on the down, down, up of D and we go. Okay, so no hammer ons pull offs here. O, two, fifth string, two, fourth string, back to fifth string, then O, two, O, fourth string. So it's. Now your normal riff, and then, you know, I'm doing it quickly, but do it slowly. Okay, and then D, down, down, up, down, up. Now we get to the, the end of the, of the phrase, O, 2, O, 4, O, pull off, and then C, but it's a, this type of C, C add 9, okay? So you go uh, fifth string, down, down, up, and then go to G over B, all right? G6 over B to be to be exact because we're the first string is open. So that's 20030, okay? And you're going to go fifth, fourth, down, down, up. So so far. Okay? Hopefully that's clear. Now a B flat sort of 6 with an open E string, so it's like a sharp 11. Uh, but really it's a B flat seven without the bar. So it's one, three, O, oh, three, O. Oh. And you're gonna go down, down, uh, sorry, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. <laughs> down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now down and slide up two frets to a straight C chord. It's actually a pure C, because these are G and E strings, which are in the C chord. So you go down, slide, and then down, up, down, 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 up, down. All right, so that would be from the B flat. Like that. Then you repeat everything, and the 12th string enters. So the intro is... Happens twice. Now the second time, uh, we have a different ending. So you can do everything that you did uh, the first time through and you would be accurate. And then finally, we're going to, when you go, well, before we were going to C add nine and then G, G6 over B and all this. Now we're gonna do sort of the riff that occurs during the vocals, which is after here, when you go to C, you go, you know, same thing pretty much, but fifth, fourth, down, and then, Second fret, and then get your G chord ready here. So third fret twice, they're upbeats. And then O, two, O, fifth string, O, two, fourth string open, two, O, pull off fourth string. And then get your D chord ready. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And when you go up that last time, you lift everything but the third finger. So that's to repeat that from the, from this. So the whole thing from C add nine would be. Then you just go back to the G, same riff. And this repeats three times. Until the verse starts. So that's the entire intro. One more time, second, uh, second. Ending of the intro, I'm just going to play through it all so it's clear rhythmically from the C. Here we go. That's the first time. Here's the second time. Third time. Just strum the D chord. Here's the verse. Good. We made it to the verse. The verse is completely identical to the intro, except for one thing. All right. There's all these little variations. Classic Jimmy Page. Um, verse, so, hey lady, it's really hard to sing this song at the same time. It's all like the intro. Okay, 
now when you go G, uh, third string open, down, down, up, you're gonna go. Okay, so that's, you know, G, down, down, up. Now two to four slide third string, third fret second string. Now a double stop, meaning both strings at once, and you do five to three pull off second string. Then down up. Now five five slides to seven seven. Really cool. And then you go down up, down up, down, down up. So the whole thing would be from the third string open. Okay, I might have added a strum there, but as long as you get the the beats right. So last time, front actually from the riff makes it easier. Okay, and then the riff, just like the intro. And then here is like the second time of the intro. Just the, the same. All identical, we've already learned it. Now we go into this transition for the first time. So when you're strumming that D chord and you know, slide up to this A over D. So A over D, it's like a D, eight frets up. Is that the correct math? Seven frets up. So that would be nine, 10, nine, all right? And you're gonna go. This kind of rhythm, four times. So that would be, uh, it's kind of a pickup note, so it's like, down, up, up, down, up, and then you go down two frets to this G over D, and you go down, down, up, down, up, and then bass, down, up, down, and then back up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, bass, bass, bass. It's kind of hard to mention the rhythm, but try it slow like this. And when it's not, just hit the bass note, the fourth string open, when you're filling time. Okay, fourth time, we stop at the G here, and we, we go, okay? Now we get to the hard part as far as rhythmically um, switching the chords in time. This is a G over D. It's actually a G5 over D, no, no B note. But no bass, because we need these fingers really close. So we go down, O, O, three, three, up on the D. So down, up, then down, and then up on an A. You can do it, just go slow. Now we've made it to the chorus, all right. All right, the chorus is gonna be uh, G, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, muted. Down, up, down, up, down, mute, 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 mute. And then A, this type of A where you have the bar, and you go up, 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 down. And when you go down, you go four to two, pull off fourth string. So that's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the timing of this, we go once, and when you do the G again, you immediately go back to this. Then you repeat the G. Now you go to the transition again. So it's kind of an interesting form here. So why don't I play through the chorus, try to follow along with how the form changes kind of rapidly. So we'll start with the with that into the beginning of the chorus. Ready? One, two. Here we go. Repeat. Now 
now we go up. All this transition. We go back into the chorus. See? Another chorus. Again. And here we go. Back to the transition. This is when the electric guitar is going. Right? But this is the acoustic guitar and the 12 string are going like this. Okay. Finally, a third, a third time through of this, but we end differently. This is the third time doing this. Here we go. We start like we're gonna start the transition, but then we do this bridge. Okay, so that would be G. That's what, this is when the electric starts doing this soon, but we need to get there first. So you're starting the transition up here and then you go G over D, down, up, down, okay? Now D, seven, seven, five, first three strings, down, up, down, and then down, quick A, E, up, down, up, whatever. Now G, down, up, down, D, down, Repeat. Now the guitar solo, you just do F sharp. Uh, it's like down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Okay, for 12 bars. And the, the solo is basically F sharp minor pentatonic. And, you know. That's probably the most memorable part. Um, but yeah, it's just minor pentatonic mainly. At the 12th bar, so imagine one, two, three, four, and you land on the fourth beat. So one, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, blah, blah, blah. So tricky, that's why the tab might help. But first fret, fifth string. I mean, let me just go through this. It's, it's kind of complicated to talk about the theory, but it's an F sharp nine. Um, so let me just name the frets here. One, one, three times. Four, two, one, three, third fret, four, uh, sorry. Third fret three times. Six, five, seven, second string. Now, not seven, nine. Now 11 three times. 14, 12, uh, 16, 8, back to the transition, transition, da, 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 da. we're going to go back in the chorus, okay, now the chorus, you're almost done, that's oh, right, okay, then another, another chorus, then to end the song, we have this final riff. So on the last chorus, check it out, G. Okay, the electric and acoustic actually all go three, three, five, seven, five, seven, pull off, five to, pull off to five, seven to five, pull off, and then you land in a D chord. Do, 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 and then you go down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, this fades. They repeat it and repeat it. And finally it fades. And then there's a echo or reverb from one of the amps of an octave that's doing the riff. And the song ends just how the intro begins. B flat, it all slows down, slide up to C. And then it ends here on a G chord, okay? Wow, we did the whole song. This is probably a little too fast for a beginner. So if you're a beginner, start here. Get that intro down and when you're ready, move on to the other sections. 
Uh, it's a lot of fun, but I will say it's a lot of work to do it from beginning to end. So good luck. Go slow. Give yourself the time you need. And check out the Patreon if you need as well. All right. Enjoy. Bye.